Question four. Summarized it here. So dy dx first of all then. This is equal to x to the minus 2 plus 4x. So differentiating minus 2x to the minus 3 plus 4. Which is 4 minus 2 over x cubed, isn't it? So the normal at this point on the curve, well, dy dx is equal to 4 minus 2 over minus 1 cubed. When x is minus 1, this is minus, so that's a plus 6. Okay, so the normal has gradient 1 sixth minus 1 sixth. So y minus minus 3 is equal to minus 1 sixth x minus minus 1 at the point p. So y is equal to minus x over 6, minus a 6 minus 3 is minus 19 sixths. So there's the equation of that normal. Minus 18 sixths minus another 6 is minus 19 sixths. Okay, that's b. Uh, that was b. Now C, tangent parallel to this, so C, 4 minus 2 over x cubed equals minus 12, wasn't it? Minus 12 is the tangent parallel to that line. So when is this gradient equal to minus 12? Move that over there, so you get 16 equals 2 over x cubed. So I'm going to move this up and move the 16 down. x cubed is equal to 2 over 16, which is 1 eighth. Cube root both sides, and you get half. So x is a half. And then when x is a half, put it in here, see what we get. y equals 1 over a half squared, isn't it? plus 4 times the x value. This works out as quarter, which works out 4, plus 2 is 6. So the tangent is y minus 6 is equal to the gradient, minus 12, x minus the half. So y is equal to minus 12 x minus 6 plus 6 is plus 0. That is the actual curve. Which is the same as the one before. Seems a bit strange, so let's just double check that. y is a sixth, 1 over a half squared. y minus 6 then. Gradient is minus 12. That will be plus 6, plus another 6. Ah, hang on then. This is plus 6. That's right. Plus another 6 is plus 12. I knew there must be something not quite right with my uh, mental arithmetic there. That's plus 6. Plus another 6 is plus 12. 